Oof. Wiley curls. Good afternoon. It is afternoon and my time. Um, how are you guys doing? Um, I have uh, I've had a couple of really, really eventful, really beautiful, eventful days, and um, a really meaningful, meaningful conversation. Uh, with my sister the other night that kind of prompted me to want to discuss some things. Hey Sonia, how you doing mama? Uh, wanted to discuss some things um, about basically who we have in our circle, who is um, in our circle and uh, you know how do they serve your highest good basically. So um, the last couple of days have been a uh, a big blessing because I was able to have my uh, my sister's um, uh, Brigitte shaman and um, uh, satin uh, map or uh, Aries eye and uh, Tiffany Robinson and actually a brand new friend of mine uh, Rico Rico Carter um, they were they had business out here in uh, New York, so they let me hang out with them a little bit, you know, and uh, broke bread and uh, uh, you know while she was doing her thing. And and you definitely have to uh, check her out if you haven't before because uh, um, I'm talking about um, Aries Eye because she is a prolific uh, medium, um, as is my other. Uh, sister Kalinda Brown. I mean, I'm surrounded by divinity, that's for sure. Um, anyway, we had some we had we had some really really beautiful time together and conversation, and it definitely uh made me grateful uh, you know, just to know that I'm that my circle is tight and it is um, you know, everybody is uh for one another. Um, then I had a conversation with uh, my my sister, who is not on the same path as I am. Um, you know, she's definitely more of a churchgoer, but she's also very conscious. And I wouldn't be surprised uh, if, at some point, she does find herself kind of exploring that notion. But that's neither here nor there. She's been doing a lot of self -ex exploration. And um, uh, she was telling me how uh, she had just kind of been um, examining some of her friends that she's had in her circle over the years. Now, um, these friends I'm very familiar with, and some of them I could kind of see, you know how you can see people from um, far away and you can kind of get the gist, you have a feeling and you can see the picture, but when you're up close, you can't really see all the aspects that are going on and uh, the cycle that you might find yourself in of people, you know, manipulating you or uh, at, at least not necessarily being serving your best interest while they're around you know like you give 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 and they take but do they really give back to you um my sister and i are definitely um built from the same cloth as far as like we are definitely givers uh both of us that's just you know we're loyal and um you know we we we're sisters so that's that's how that is but um, the difference is, the differences are that I have learned, I'm older, she's younger, so I've always been kind of like a motherly figure to her, especially since my mom passed, you know, um, uh, even more so, but I've always been that. And, um, you know, I've always tried to teach her that, you know, that certain things that I learned and everything, but you know, you don't, they don't always, um receive everything that you have to say and you know sometimes it's about uh ex the experience so my attitude over the years has always been has has you know i learned earlier that certain people really don't 
reciprocate the same energy that you give to them. Hey, mama, I was just talking about you. <laughs> In a good way, of course. Um, um, they really don't reciprocate the same energy that you give to them. And, you know, what is it that you're actually getting from these people being in your life other than just a, a familiarity you know and of course there's always something good about you know that the familiar you know it's almost like a nostalgia it's like you know you kind of grew up with these people you um you have certain memories but how did they how were they in your life at the time were they uh were they assholes <laughs> you know did they did they were they always like you know the kind that sneak jokes all that you know at your expense did they always kind of shoot down the shit that you you know possibly brought to them like you know just ideas and things like that were they supportive of you you know um I'd say in my early 20s, yeah, I was uh, holding on to shit that didn't serve me, but I had to learn, I learned really quickly that, you know, I, well, I think it maybe is because I had a family really early. I had, you know, three kids by the time I was 26, I was married with three kids, and so I really did not have the time, nor the patience, nor the bandwidth to deal with hangers-on and people who you know, used up a lot of energy, but never gave any back, you know, or gave very little back. So, um, the people that were in my circle from way back when, um, I can, you know, I got a couple of hands, I guess I can, I can use because, uh, I mean, I guess I did have like a good amount of discernment to, um, you know, uh, hold on to those who, uh, who we, we, we were on the mutual vibration. We were on a mutual frequency. So like my sister, you know, Tierney Moore or, you know, uh, my friend Elisa isn't on here, but uh, I mean, like these people have been, you know, stringent in my life since I was a teen, but that's far and few, you know, um, I've learned that you just don't have the room to accommodate people that do not serve your highest good, you know. Uh, this is something that my sister was going over with, and it is something that I did try and, you know, uh, broach to her over the years. But, you know, it's something that she had to learn on her own. She had to kind of see it for herself. And... Uh, unfortunately a lot of her need to accommodate people that uh, weren't beneficial was basically because of daddy issues and that's just something that you know both of us kind of deal with um, that's neither here nor there but the, the moral to the story basically is oh, watch who's in your circle watch who you are giving your energy to um my sisters around having my my folks around me yesterday all we were doing was just raising each other's vibration you know and um whether we are in person or we are on um you know on facebook or just wherever energy exchange is is real and you can tell when somebody is taking and not necessarily giving or that you are doing so much and they're commanding so much of your time but then they're not necessarily there when you are in need of you know and I my personally I don't always reach out to people even when I do feel like I'm in need however I feel like I, I, I notice that people can uh, I guess when you're on the same frequency they can tell you know or they just have like an kind of an intuitive thing and they just kind of reach out regardless of whether you s say that you're in need or not you know and I'm very appreciative of this you know very appreciative so 
I just want to encourage you guys um, that, um, I mean, if a person shows you who you are, you ab uh, who they are, you absolutely must believe them. Take them at their word. And if it doesn't serve you, you keep it pushing, you know, with blessings. You know, as long as you ain't got to be disrespectful or whatever, unless they're disrespectful to you or whatever. You just give back to what they give you. But you just don't have the room. You know, there's, there's so much that we have to accomplish in this life. And people can take up space and can take you away from your fucking focus. And that's not something that you, that, that none of us who are trying to get someplace can afford. Hey, Latasha. It's another one of my sisters. So, um, I just wanted to be encouraging and uh, share my experience and, um, and uh, uh, just recognize, number one, that I am surrounded by superstars in every facet, everybody basically that is in my universe is a fucking superstar they everybody is a beautiful being they bring so much to the table and i am extremely uh grateful to be vibrating on the same frequency as you m rain um high priestess creole queen uh you know duchess uh um everybody uh, you know pretty much they they are um they're beautiful spirits and i i feel if i'm giving your your energy to if, if i'm giving my energy to you is because you are giving me i'm i'm, I'm i want to be reciprocal you know and uh sonia yes um I, I'm just extremely grateful and I just want to encourage you guys to, you know, continue to be mindful always of who you are around and um, who is around you. <laughs> so, um, with that said, I hope that everybody is having an amazing day. I hope that you are having, that you, if you are not having an amazing week you can turn that shit around transmute any uh negative energy into the positive and make it work for you why because you're magical as fuck that's what you're supposed to do you guys have a great day i'll talk to you later